All right, hey, AP Bio students, I want to go to, through two of our answers. Uh, the answer to question three involving enzymes, and then we'll go through the answer to question four involving photosynthesis. So, um, number three, day three. The question was, uh, or we have this information, the effects of pH and temperature were studied for an enzyme-catalyzed reaction. The following results were obtained. Describe a controlled experiment that could have produced the data shown for either temperature or pH. Be sure to state the hypothesis that was tested. Um, I gave you some hints. We had uh, a very similar question to this on our biochem test back in semester one. So what are you measuring? How are you measuring it? Um, you'll need to state the independent, dependent variables and the control. So um, the graphs actually tell you a lot of those answers. So remember, independent variables are always on the x-axis, and dependent variables are always on the y-axis. And then the control is not given here, but uh, you can certainly come up with uh, at least one control, maybe two controls. So let's go through uh, the type of answer you should have. Uh, one point for the hypothesis. So hypothesis is based directly on the graphs. Um, which states an enzyme functions at an optimal temperature, or if you went the pH route, an enzyme functions at an optimal pH. And then the College Board is looking for you to state that the independent variable is on the X, so that's temperature or pH. The dependent variable is the enzyme activity or the rate of the reaction. And then the controls. So. Uh, you really need to think about your experiment when you do the controls, and I think you could come. I think there are two really good answers for controls. One, uh, in one of your test tubes, and we'll talk about a description of the experiment here in a second. But in one of your test tubes, you can put distilled water instead of an enzyme um, to see if the reaction happens, and it should not. And then you need to control the time of the reaction, so how long you allow the re reaction to. Uh, occur in a test tube should be the exact same for every one of your trials or assays um, as you would say in science. So description of the experiment. Three points. And your answers will vary. I, this is my answer so um, certainly there are a lot of different things you could come up with but I would say use 10 test tubes and uh, you'll put the enzyme and the substrate in those test tubes, but each test tube will be at a different temp. So maybe 0 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees Celsius, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 degrees Celsius, um, or pH, pH of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So each test tube has a different environment. Then you allow You'll put the enzyme and substrate in those test tubes, and you'll allow those um, reactions to occur for maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then you'll stop the reaction. Then after that, you'll measure the amount of product. And uh, obviously, we should get a range of uh, products from little product uh, at low temps and high temps, little product at low pHs and high pHs, and then a lot of product uh, somewhere in the middle temperatures or the middle pHs. And then you can graph it, and the highest point of your graph will be the optimal temperature or the optimal pH. So um, to get the full points from the College Board, you would need um, all of these uh, items. And that's uh, review question number three. Let's go to review question number four, which involved... Photosynthesis. So, in a certain prairie community, a dominant prairie grass species has recently been infected with a virus that disrupts one of the electron transport proteins in the chloroplast of infected cells. Describe the most likely effects on cellular processes. Be specific as to which processes and molecules are most likely to be directly affected. So, on an FRQ on your test, this will be a three-pointer. And uh, here's what you need to get to three points. One there will be less ATP produced uh, by that uh, cell. And uh, remember, part of uh, uh, inside a chloroplast, a chloroplast during the light reactions would make ATP. 
So if you disrupt that with this virus disrupts that electron transport chain, you would not make ATP or as much ATP. Uh, at the same time, you would not make as much NADPH because that involves an electron transport chain also in the light reactions, that Z scheme light reactions that we went through first semester. Uh, and remember, uh, ATP is energy, NADPH is uh, going to be an electron carrier uh, into the Calvin cycle. And that would be your third point. Uh, you would not be able to fix carbon out of the air since the Calvin cycle will not run. Uh, because if the Calvin cycle can't get ATP and the Calvin cycle can't get NADPH, carbon will not be fixed. Hence, you would not be able to make the uh, end sugar, uh, glucose or whatever in uh, the Calvin cycle. And then you could have a fourth point where you would say um, the plant, the cells would not make as much oxygen um, from this virus. So you need three out of the four to get the full points from the College Board. That is review question number four, and hopefully uh, that provides you with a lot of information. I'll talk to you guys later.